Hello everyone and welcome to another Digital Monster Vital Bracelet video. In this video I'm going to be unboxing and starting up my Infinite Tide and Titan of Dust dims which were just released about a week ago. So this is the second volume of the dim sets which I always find a little bit weird like we've had, it feels like it says volume two so that would imply we've only had two but we've actually had the EX dims which were the Gabumon and Agumon ones and that's a separate one and then we've got this one and we've got volume one and then we've got the the real uh no true black raw and no true shadow hell and mad black raw there we are that's what it's called and we've also got the gutcha dims coming out so it, it, it's weird that we've got like different sets it, at least the gutcha ones they are not continuing on with that series but it is weird that we've it's got a, it's got several different types of sets we've got the set that came with the dims which is fair enough we've got these ones then we've got the 0.5 ones and then we've got the EX ones and then we've got the, the, the gacha dims so that's it's kind of weird anyway because I keep on wanting to call this volume three but it's not volume three it's volume two anyway so let's get started so I will start up the infinite tide one first and then I'll do titan of dust and this is because I want to raise the titan dust one more so I'll put that in last so it'll be my active Digimon and that's because I would really like to raise Togemon. Now we do have, uh, as I mentioned in another video, we have, and I'm struggling a bit here, we, because I didn't take off the bottom part, that would help. And anyway, so we, I did talk about in another video how we've got the Palmon Dim coming out, which is the Hermit in the Jungle Dim. And it is weird that it doesn't have Palmon on it. I feel like, in, uh, sorry, weird that it doesn't have Togemon on it. I feel like this one should have had Ponchomon and then the Palmon Dim have Togemon. But anyway, it, it's fine. At least we get Palmon. So we'll start up with the Infinite Tide one and I will remove the Dim placeholder, which I still haven't lost yet, by the way. And I don't have anything on my VB at the moment because I want to start them both. So Infinite Tide has a roster that I think is really cool, but I'm not as excited for it as the... Uh, Toge main, well, mainly I'm excited because of this one because of Togemon, but it does have Seedramon, which makes me kind of worried that we're getting Airdramon without Seedramon evolution as well, because I always took them as something that evolve from the same child, or at least are in the same sort of roster. So it is kind of weird that we have Seedramon on this one, but I do like Seedramon, so I'll probably aim for Seedramon first, just because I like Seedramon, and then of course Togemon on this dim which I'm thinking of having around always just as the adult that I want to use in the PvP, in the adult level uh, battles. So that's what I'm probably going to be doing first, just trying to raise the Togemon as quickly as possible. And likewise, when the Palmon Dim comes out, I will be starting up that and having that as my child level. At the moment I have a Vmon that I'm using, as the child level PvP mon. Also, minor complaint, it's very nitpicky, but the animation that we just saw with the Digimon coming out of the egg, it's weird that it's like a small black Digimon, like Bottomon, and not, you know, the actual baby Digimon that it is there. I guess it's meant to be shadowy and mysterious, but well, it's, it's, it's a very minor complaint. It's not even really a complaint, it's just something I'd literally just noticed. I'm like, huh, that's weird. I wonder if we're not going to have a Goemon dim because we have Goemon's baby forms in this, and I'll put that dim in its, in its little dim holder. Which, I love these, by the way, these little dim card holders. I will be getting the album, it hasn't shipped yet, I'm getting it in, an, in a Japan You Want order, with a bunch of like other stuff that I kind of ordered. Lots of Tamagotchis and Digimon books. So expect a video about both the Tamagotchis and the Dim Card folder at some point when that ships. And it should be should be soon because the Tamagotchi's release was like the 24th, I think. Anyway, so let's do our next one. We've got the Pichimon is in backup, so we can start with some new ones because the if, I don't even remember the baby form's names from Titan of Dust, because they are the new ones. They are the sand ones. I want to say one is like 
Sunamon because it's just sand. It's the one that looks like that uh that sand castle Pokemon Pal Palpa Sand, I think it's called. I don't know. Uh the, the generation I know least about is Sun and Moon, because even though I played Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon, I did not like it, and I didn't spend a lot of time remembering the uh the, the Pokemon's names. I just sort of catch them for my living deck caught caught them, rather. I caught them from my living decks and then I kind of didn't do anything else with them. I just know there's a sandcastle one. But yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'm just raising Togemon on this. <laughs> like, the uh, the rosters for these aren't that exciting, except for Togemon, uh, unless I'm completely misremembering the roster. But also, I haven't really completed that many rosters at all. I'm just going to use my heart rate from my... Uh, from my finger. And we'll see another Digimon pop out that looks like a Bottomon. But I guess it's so small, like, it's you can't really get much detail on, so I'm not going to fault them too much for it. It's just something I noticed. And there's our little baby. I, I love this. It kind of just looks like Pubamon, because it's got kind of, it's kind of like a blob with a, a, a dummy in its mouth. So it, it it's kind of cute. I love when they have the baby forms that just have, like, the dummy in their mouth. Card holder so I don't lose it because I ha I'm so surprised I have. BB strap is, by the way. Special dim was sold separately, like the Ancient Warriors one. I would probably not have bought this one just because I, I knew as soon as I pre-ordered it, or as soon as they announced it rather, that it would get filthy because it's such a light colour. And I've I've tried to clean it. It's just it's because it's such a light colour, it stains easily. So I'm gonna have another go at cleaning it, but it's just like I, I I would have preferred the black strap with the Ancient Warriors dim, but because I wanted the Ancient Warriors dim, I had to buy it. But I'm thinking of getting like a uh, a different strap, like taking off these because you can take them off, and that's the easiest way to clean it, so you don't get the actual main body wet, and replacing it with like some black straps or something, and probably seeing if I can replace the buttons as well, just because I'm not a fan of how. Uh, of how much it stains, like the colour sort of was alright, it kind of grew on me, even though it's very, very bright, but the, the staining is kind of gross and annoying, but I have cleaned it, I, I do clean it, so it is clean at the very least, and also the DM rubbed off fairly quickly, which is, I don't know, kind of a shame, but it kind of happens when you're wearing it under your uh, shirt every day and the shirt's kind of rubbing against it, but, and I don't want my Digimon to die, so... And I wanted to use it, so I had to wear it. Anyway, so that is the Infant Tide and Titan of Dust dims, and I'll get them started. I might transfer one into the app, just because I'm still working on Weregurumon and Metal Greymon. I know Weregurumon is about four hours from evolving, and Metal Greymon's about nine hours, and I'd really like to have Metal Garurumon for the end of the Animal Farm hatch, which is the four-legged or more hatch. And Metal Greymon, I want to evolve to War Greymon because then I'll have two War Greymons, and that means that I can Jogress to get two Omegamons from both of the Dims. So I'll have an Agumon Dim Omegamon, and I'll have a Gabumon Dim Omegamon. So you have to have about two of each. So then I'll have my I'll have my second War Greymon, and then I can get Omegamon, and then I can actually work on the newer Dims because I still have the Snow Bottomon uh, on the app, just as Snow Bottomon from when I did the Volume One unboxing, which was quite a while ago now. So I think it's because I was focusing on getting Zwart, which one of my Zwarts died the other day doing a raid battle, which I'm salty about. But I still have the other one, which is fine. So I guess thanks for watching this video, and I will see y'all next one. Bye.